Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and say a few things. Um, I know this is kind of political, so some people may not like it. But, you know, uh, it says, we the people. Well, I am one of the we. So, and I feel like I need to start speaking out about what I see um, and hear that's going on in the world. And um, there's a lot of things that I think are wrong. One thing I heard, uh, I've kind of been hearing uh, Republicans saying that they're being replaced, that white people are being replaced. Well, you know what? We've already been replaced. First of all, we came here and replaced the natives, the true natives. And then it's nothing, been nothing but replacement. We've replaced here, replaced there. So we are a replaced nation. And to say, uh, one of the Republicans even went as far as to say, oh, you know, our European ancestors, okay, unless your mom just or dad was just born in England or in Europe somewhere, you're removed from European by many generations, okay? That's just what, you know, it, that's the facts. If your family came over here with the first Europeans, which were immigrants, uh, they came over and pretty much occupied this country because it was already occupied. And they just came over and occupied it however they wanted and um, pretty much killed off uh, a whole clan of natives. Just killed them off, either by warfare or diseases they brought over. So don't talk to me about, you know, you're getting replaced because you're European. Look, we're all Americans here. If you were born here, you're a native to America. The only difference in America is our skin tone. We all have what we call skin. We're all made the same. Hair, arms, legs, hands, and skin. Everybody needs to do a DNA test to see where their ancestors came from. Now, we're a nation here, like I said, we occupied this country we replace the natives pretty much. I mean, there are some natives that survived and thank goodness that we didn't wipe all of them out when we trudged across the waters. There's not one person that, you know, pretty much can say except the true natives that they are originally from here. Now I can say uh, like my ancestors have lived at least 200 years in the state of Indiana. Okay. After that, it goes back to the 13 colonies because they were moving from the, once they got here, they were moving until they got to Indiana and that's pretty much where they stayed for 200 years. Before, after, when you get to the 13 colonies, where are you going to go? Overseas. Now, how many more years is that? I've got 200 years just from Indiana and out of Indiana. So 200 years, that's the 1800s, 1820. So from Europe, I'm already replaced. How many years are from the 13 colonies to my ancestors get to Indiana. So, you know, that, that's a bunch of nonsense that they try to tell people to scare them. 
They want to scare you so you'll say, oh, yeah, you know. That sounds logical to me, you know. The other thing I got to say real quick is that they talk about fake news, okay. It's not fake because it's out there. They're just maybe given the um, false news, you know. They're given false information. They're trying to lure you to think another way. But everybody has a phone and everybody has Google. All you got to do is say, Google, what is this? Google, how many are there? Google, where is this at? So for people to say that there are all the news things are fake news, except they want the one they want to hear the false information from. Now that's the true one. Only one is the true one. Now they got a couple other ones that they say, oh, this is a true one. All the others are fake. Come on. You know, you got the world in your hands with the phone and you're going to put blinders on and say, I'm just going to look at this guy right here and whatever he tells me out of the whole world, I'm going to believe and just go with that. And then you have the nerve to stand up there and say, oh, this is not a cult. Trumpism is not a cult. <laughs> I beg to differ. That's all I got to say on that. So until my uh, get some thoughts going again, I got quite a bit that I want to throw out there to you people. And, uh, you know, give your opinion, your likes or dislikes. But let's be civil about things. We're all grown-ups, and we should act like it. So, until next time, I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye.